What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Nosentoski here of the Maze and Blue Review on Michigan.Rivals.com. Highlights analysis of Michigan's blowout loss against the in-state rival Michigan State Spartans. 83-67 is your final score. Let's get through this. If you're a Spartan here, throw a like on the video because I'm covering this game still. I'm not going to back down from a loss. If you're a Michigan fan, let's get through this together. All right, here we go. Kicking this one off, Devontae Jones giving it to Musa Giabate. Good patience down low for the up and under. Getting the big men going early here on the other side. Marcus Bingham, nice turnaround finish with the right. Dickinson says, hey, I can do that too with my left, though. This time off the glass. 4-2, to two, deep shot there. And <laughs> Caleb Houston inadvertently tipping that one in for the Spartans. They don't need help, Caleb Houston. Come on. Anyway, here, Devontae Jones getting the Marcus Bingham block treatment. Here is something that Michigan State did over and over in this game. Right, You have this pick coming. Uh, just a little bit lazy defense here from Dickinson. Right? He's trying to close out here, hedge this as you get the roll here. But number two here for this Michigan State Spartans, Tyson Walker. See what he does here. Let's move forward. Boom, he just splits that. Right, Just splits it. Really nice move there. And now look at all the leverage they have. Right, You have both him and the big man down low. Caleb Houston has to come help. You leave Gabe Brown here on the three-point line. That is what happens here, but... Um, not good enough help defense there. Too much open space for Tyson Walker there on the finish here. Nice pass on the turnover from Dickinson, Caleb Houston with the finish here again off the ball screen. Just too much room. AJ Hogard makes him pay on that one here. Good roll action there. Musa Giabate with the slam down low off the inbounds pass. Good job from Eli Brooks finding spacing for the easy two here. Dickinson overcommits, right? He overcommits on the, uh, press defense, and they find the open man for a three-pointer. Here, Musa Giabate, work down low. Good footwork, right? He's putting it all together. He was really big in the first half here. Turnover, delivered to Johns. Probably should have caught that, but Frankie Collins, it's a tough delivery. Here, a deep two. Musa Giabate all over the floor, getting a hand on that one. Good job from him. Tough turnaround jumper, Max Christie, talented freshman. Puts that one away. Dickinson was a force down low. Finishes with the left. Nice, gentle bounce off the rim. Frankie Collins trying to get it going early. He can't get it. Michigan's guards were having a tough time in this one. Brandon Johns also having a tough time with that long three. Does not find any rim. Max Christie, meanwhile, puts in the four-point play. Can't be following that guy at the three-point line if you're Terrence Williams. Here, good block there defensively against Mark Malik Hall. Brandon Johns Jr., good defense here. Getting some space with that shoulder there for Dickinson. Putting in with the left. Here, just lazy defense here, right? They're pushing the pace. The Spartans are. And as they do that, right, get past Devontae Jones here. And Hogard now has a lot of space, right? You need to keep Dickinson down low here. You need to keep him because you have um, Marcus Bingham down low. Kobe Bufkin really should be closer towards the perimeter here, right? You have a guy for each of the players here shooting down the baseline. You should have that covered. What you don't have covered is this closeout. And because Kobe Bufkin is going too far inside here, Right? Look at all that space for Max Christie here on the on the corner three. Can't be doing that and uh, can't be giving him that sort of space. Again, pushing the pace again. That's a tough finish, um, but they're just flooding the basketball with each of these possessions here. Good job from Musa Giabate, though. Right, Recognizes this is Marcus Bingham making this pass. Good recognition there. Using that wingspan for Giabate. Puts that one away. It's a tie game here through the first again look at the action and i don't want to keep stopping here but i have to do it right based off of this ball screen right you have musa giabate expecting the guard here to go this way right that's why you have musa giabate committing here expecting this action to hedge and then you can rotate back once you have the roll here right but that's not what happens he fakes this way and then he goes around this way because you have both Jones and Giabate going this way. This is going to be wide open on the other side, right? And I'll move forward here a little bit. Boom, there he goes. And look, now you have everyone needing to react, right? You need Caleb Houston. He's in a really tough spot. He either has to come here, commit here, and you don't have good enough help defense, right? Because you have Max Christie threatened down the baseline as well. So with Terrence Williams now, he's the one who has to defend this. And look, there's just no one here for the spacing for Christie, right? Because he's attacking head on and Terrence Williams comes over, you leave Max Christie wide open. Oops, sorry, I skipped forward there. Wide open right there, delivers a nice pass, and there's no way that you can adequately defend that dunk. So it's just a good job, good spacing for Michigan State. Here down low, Dickinson doing everything he can with the left. 
here again pushing the pace no one's getting back quick enough on defense you can't be doing that against michigan state right all those baskets are just too easy here good ball rotation right tried to double dickinson eli brooks throws down that three just not enough of that right here we have again michigan state splitting that double boom splitting the double look at what that does right now you have four offensive players with good spacing here right and you only have three defenders one two three for michigan because of them beating how michigan is defending the ball screen here right there no one on malik hall on the wing boom make them pay right they shot really well from three point line but michigan's making it easy as well and then when they do decide to push the pace just lazy defense when the tempo is increased for the spartans here at dickinson again on offense he's doing great hitting it with the right there with the right hand here not able to challenge malik hall in the three-pointer quick enough here Devonte jones though trying to keep it close at the end of the first half great steal great finish you'll see here jump into the body there of the spartan there tyson walker bench is fired up and you get the three-point play here you got dickinson trying to guard tyson walker just not what you want in the perimeter they hit the three they shot really well from three-point line right this is the first half stat six of 11 for the spartans um shooting 52 percent from the field only down four you got to feel pretty good if you're wolverines um awkward start here to the second half though bingham with the right finishes that here again pushing the pace not the worst defense but just getting to the bucket too easily and michigan was just missing open looks right there's eli brooks not able to hit that one they'll leave Devontae jones wide open for three he misses poorly and then they call this foul this offensive foul down low against musa giabate all right you got got a couple hook and hold potential here right you got to call something there, right? That's something. And then you got this arm kind of across Musa Giabate's chest there, right? I don't think that's a valid box out if you're Malik Hall there. Um, they called against Giabate, right? I think you could have called a, a couple potential hook and holds there. Call against Giabate. I don't know, right? The officiating wasn't terrible in this game. That one seemed like a bad call. Here again, Hogard beating Jones off the dribble, puts that one away. Giabate going to work down low. Nice footwork. Again, just so much space he can create with those long arms, that long frame there, though. Good drive there from Hogard and uh, the guard from Michigan State. Really, really strong. Here, poor defense from Giabate, right? But he also did have to help. You see here, because of this switch, right? Because of that ball screen and switch, you got Frankie Collins down low here on a big man 34, Julius Marble. And because of that, Giabate has to come help, right? This is what's being threatened. So because of that, threat here down low with the smaller frankie collins that opens up malik hall in the corner right and michigan state did a good job of recognizing that and the closeout is is there but that allows space for malik hall to step up and hit the mid-range here another three they hit off and michigan state did when they didn't offensive rebounds like that in the second half really hurt the wolverines here's an open look for eli brooks he just can't hit that one right here's a turnover opportunity for gabe brown and look at the score all of a sudden 15 point game Right, Michigan trying to stick in it here. Not a whole lot going on. They're denying the entry pass here to Dickinson. Really the only offensive threat when they do get open looks. Right, Like I said, offensive rebounds killing Michigan when they were missing from deep and they weren't missing often. Caleb Pewson, I think that was the first three of his game here. Uh, good look there from Eli to Musa Giabate. Can't handle, handle that for the turnover. Again, late closeout there. Right, What happened on this play? Again, off the ball screen, just not doing a good enough job hedging this, right? Here's uh, 34, Julius Marble, and Johns isn't isn't doing a whole lot to make the job difficult of Hogard, right? Hogard wants to go this way. You need to hedge this a little bit harder to allow the rotation of the defense a little bit easier, right? Not a whole lot. What is Johns doing here, right? He didn't really impede the path of Hogard, and now we have one defender Johns is way too far out here. Now you got two guys rolling to the basket, only one guy really who's not in a position to really guard Hogard in an effective manner here, right? As a result, what does that mean? That means that you have Terrence Williams who has to make up this, this cut here and guard here. And because of that, Johns is also trying to scramble. But because of this rotation over here, look at how open Joey Hauser is going to be on the wing. Right, And Michigan State is doing that next level processing. Right, They understand that because of the poor position of Johns here, Terrence Williams will have to move over to compensate for that. And that leaves Joey Hauser wide open on the wing and they hit those shots. Right, When they're recognizing those deficiencies in Michigan's defense and they're hitting those shots, it's a tough ask. Right Here, finally, Michigan getting some production from three-point land, Kobe Bufkin, but you're still down 12. Gabe Brown 
Beats Kobe Bufkin off the dribble. Not the worst defense, but able to get the tough finish here. Eli Brooks, again, open look, just not able to hit those. Johns can't secure the, re the offensive rebound, and you're down 14. Here, pushing the pace. No one picks up Hauser going down low. Again, just laziness at times when the pressure is put up from Michigan State. Here, a couple looks down low, but it's a little bit too little, too late. Seven minutes left, still a 14-point game. Dickinson getting the end one, trying to get him back into it. Here, Michigan State gets the mismatch from Hogard on Dickinson, or Dickinson on Hogard, I should say, and that's not something you, that you want if you're Michigan. Here, Dickinson can't hit the close basket going the other way on the same possession. Again, you got Gabe Brown with Dickinson guarding him, hits from three, and just transition, right? When, the, when they're putting up the tempo here, when they're picking up the tempo, Michigan's doing a really poor job of creating good good matchups for themselves, right? Look at, look, just look at the balance here, right? You got two guys over here, one, two, and where are Michigan's guys, right? You, you got these two Spartans. You only have Dickinson over here, right? Dickinson could pick up Hauser, but what is Eli Brooks doing over here, right? You, you do have one, two, three matched up here, but this is huge. You got two guys on this side of the court and Brooks is in no man land, right? When they picked up the pace, Michigan was scrambling here, and because of that poor position, again, that one extra pass, right? You need Dickinson here to guard Malik Hall because he's the immediate threat, but because of both of this, now look at who you have. You have Joey Hauser wide open again on the wing. He hits a corner three, and that's pretty much the game, right? Five minutes late, they keep finding this. It's a 19-point game at this point. It's just not good. Here, Eli Brooks hits the end one, right? Again, Joey Hauser. Threatened from three, able to get the mid-range, and they were just hitting shots, right? Not only was there poor defense, but they're breaking these pressure looks. Here's the and or the uh, alley-oop, I should say. And just not good enough from defense with the way that Michigan State was playing. Here, Dickinson trying to do what he, what he can, using the left off the hook here. Devontae Jones gets the runner. Dickinson finding Devontae Jones from deep. Again, just can't hit it. That shot is there, right? It was there pretty much all game, just not able to hit from deep. Here, good finish there from Caleb Houston, but again, too little, too late. 16-point loss here for the Wolverines. 83-67 is your final. Let's move into stats here, okay? Rough game. Let's go into the stats. So Dickinson, 25 points on 8 of 19 shooting, 9 for 10 from free throw line, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 block, really the main threat on offense for the Wolverines in this one. Giabate had a good game, 11 points on 5 of 10 shooting, 9 rebounds, 3 blocks, added a steal as well. Caleb Houston, a bit quieter of a game, 11 points on three of six, shooting only one of three from three-point land. Did add five rebounds and two steals, but not enough production elsewhere outside of those three guys, right? Moving on to three key points here. Defensive effort just wasn't there. Too many opportunities in transition for Michigan State. Again, poor recognition of matching up man-to-man -man on defense in those transition opportunities or when Michigan State did pick up the pace. The guards, simply a mismatch against the Wolverines, right? MSU was hitting a lot of their shots, 9 of 18 from three-point land, but a lot of those were high-quality looks as well because of Michigan's just poor handling of ball screens and transition offense from Michigan State. Um, number two here, Dickinson did have an excellent game, just not enough, right? 90% from free throw, free throw line at a huge clip. That's really good to see. Uh, he's the primary ball scorer by a wide margin when Michigan State ramped up their defense of him uh, denying the entry pass. Uh, that went a long way in, in making the second half what it was for the Spartans. Um, but Dickinson did limit the big men of Michigan State tremendously, right? Marcus Bingham only four points, but that guard play proved to be too much for the Wolverines to overcome. Number three, disappointing shooting performance overall from Michigan, right? Three of 19 from three-point land. A fair amount of those were open looks from Eli Brooks, Caleb Houston. Uh, you had a few from Devontae Jones. It's just not good enough, right? Add in 37% from the floor overall. It's not going to cut it against a top 10 team like the Michigan State Spartans. All right, final thoughts here. MSU is a better team right now. We all knew that going into this game, right? It's still disappointing to see this kind of shooting performance after they've seemingly come alive in the past three games before this one. Um, it is what it is though, right? Your margin of error now is so slim to have a postseason shot outside of the NIT, right? You can't be losing these types of games uh, if you want to build a resume with this record. Uh, that's worthy of an NCAA tournament appearance, okay? That's all I got for this one. Obviously disappointing. Hopefully they can build it back next week, starting on Tuesday, the next game for the Wolverines. Beyond that, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Stay safe out there. As always, go Blue.